A group of preteens will get a chance to boost their swimming skills next year thanks to a new water safety program that will be available in some schools across the province. Travis Danraj explains why it's so important to target this specific age group. 12-year-old Edward Gao is in grade 6. When he's at the pool with his friends, peer pressure isn't far behind. Seeing whoever uh, who can uh, survive down there longer, holding their breaths, doing really dangerous stuff. There's a scientific reason why young boys in particular want to do that dangerous stuff. It's where we do our thinking. Part of the brain responsible for judgment and impulse control isn't fully developed in teens. The Life Saving Society says that is part of the reason why they're expanding their Swim to Survive program. This year, the program will be offered to a wider age group, including teens. 18 to 24 year olds continue to have the highest water related death rate of any group in Canada. Risk taking increases with groups, so the more kids we teach about this, the better. And if that risky behavior does turn tragic, experts say it can often be difficult to spot the signs that someone's drowning. This flailing dramatic scene is what comes to mind when many picture drowning. Swim instructor Gerge Kapush has saved several lives. He says the reality can look much different. You want to look for stillness in the water. So if anyone's submerged for a longer period of time but they're not moving. Kapush says Swim to Survive teaches young people not to panic in a moment of danger. If in the event that you were pushed into deep water, you would be able to collect yourself calmly and swim to safety. With a multi-million dollar budget shortfall, the Toronto District School Board is struggling to balance its books. Private sponsors are kicking in cash so the program can expand, but right now it's only offered in some schools. That means only some kids, like Gao, are learning valuable lessons that could help save a life. you got to grow up sometimes and mature and not do things that are, um, that are really risky. Travis Danraj, CBC News, Toronto.